So you can now use vision within your Obsidian system sculpt. So you can take this image, for example, let's copy this image, head on over to your Obsidian, make sure that you have your um, system sculpt AI chat open. All you gotta do is just paste it in, Command V, and there it is, boom, there it is. And make sure you have a model that has vision enabled on it or is vision capable, right? So any, pretty much any Gemini model, I think, yeah, Gemini Flash, Pro, um, any GPT-40 model, even the Mini one. Let's see what the Mini one thinks about this. So I have the GPT-40 Mini selected and let's just say, um, what is this image both literally as well as meaning wise? And let's see what GPT-40 thinks about it. So it sends this image as base 64 and boom, here we go. So it says literally the image depicts a Roman soldier or gladiator in armor holding a glowing orb. The background features a cosmic or ethereal atmosphere. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that it's like this kind of starry night. Very nice. Meaning-wise, the image can symbolize various themes, power and authority. Very cool. Knowledge and enlightenment, and then mythological or cosmic elements. Overall, the image evokes a sense of grandeur, mystery, and the interplay between history and mythology. So, yeah, kind of. I mean... Obviously, we didn't give it the full context of the white pill. So let's actually say this image was captioned white pill. How does that change the meaning? Let's see what it comes up with now, now that it has that extra bit of context. I wonder if uh, GPT-40 Mini even knows what white pill means. Okay, cool. Hope and positivity, awakening or enlightenment, and then cultural commentary the juxtaposition of a historical figure with modern terminology may reflect a commentary on current societal issues wow a lot of words great so there you go um caption white pill adds a layer of contemporary cultural meaning often associated with the idea of optimism or hope uh, in contrast to the black pill which signifies despair or nihilism very nice very nice okay cool so there you go, that's how it works. That's how quickly it uh, processes everything. It's really nice to just have, I don't know, an extra dimension. Instead of just typing text, you can now attach images. And again, you can attach PDFs and such. I will show you how to do that in a later video. But uh, yeah, for now, image capabilities are now live on the latest version of System Sculpt, which is uh, 0.6.2 at the time of making this video. Anyway, thanks for watching.